I'm Derek with the Luminex in Highland Park, New Jersey. I'm in an apartment. I usually don't uh, advertise cockroaches. I'm like the master of cockroach treatment for the past 20 years. That's all. That's the first jobs I've ever done for four years straight. We're just cockroaches for commercial and residential. I was like the the main guy to take care of. Any cockroach infestation, American cockroaches, palmetto bugs, oriental, everything. Brown banded and German cockroaches in this situation. This is a German cockroach infestation. It's not really bad. Uh, I don't really like, I won't take those jobs that are just filthy, disgusting. You know, I can eliminate it. But our reputation is based on taking care of the problem, problem solution. And with the cockroaches, it's like cockroaches. Some of the, a lot of the times, it's something that you do got to do a really good clean out and then just keep on top of it with maintenance services because it just seems you're never going to, with rental situations, multifamily, it seems like you're never going to get the kind of cooperation you desire to, uh, yeah, to completely eradicate uh, cockroaches unless it's really clean. I like taking apartments that are relatively maintained with good tenants. And the, and the neighbors, there's not many infested units in a building. If it's one or two, you know I can handle it. Uh, I like to solve it. So when you solve something, then there's no complaints, calls from the tenants, and then everybody's happy. And then that's how we thrive as a business with happy customers. If you take on jobs that you can't control, can't get rid of, because the people are just filthy, disgusting, and the place is just in disrepair, and, and it's just not regularly uh, monitored, and um, and, the, and the landlord will just get anybody in the apartment, and there's no cooperation by the tenants to do any preparation work. I just won't take those jobs. You can throw any kind of money at me, and I won't do them. Uh, it used to be the day where, yeah, I'll take anything as a challenge, but it gets to the point where now you develop a reputation and a, and a presence get good clients and you want good reviews and happy customer base and not take on those other customers that aren't going to cooperate. So this is a, this is pretty typical. I don't use those gels. I don't use those baits. I don't use those, those, those little gel baits, you know. Uh, you know, little nymph cockroaches. It's not bad. But when you mess around with cockroaches by using non-invasive methods like uh, putting down baits, like gels, there's a couple, Advion was a great product. They develop resistance because any pesticide that you put down has any kind of maintenance. There's going to be competition with that versus real food source. They may go to a neighboring property. They'll go into the walls to hide until you start, until people move in. You know, and, and that bait would only be good, viable for a couple weeks anyway. And uh, if there's an infestation, it's just not going to work. You're wasting your time. You're getting ripped off. I like to do a clean-out kind of service with them. my special treatment, my special formula for cockroaches. Gets them running. My treatment gets them running without using fogs, without using powders. My treatment gives them a hot foot and gets them running all over. Well, I just started a little spraying a little bit. And they're running all over. They're coming out of the woodwork. I just did a five-minute treatment. And they're already flushing out. The place looked relatively very clean. And when I start treating, then they start running away. And this is an example of baits that people buy over the counter. I guess this is busted out. It was a bait button where it's covered. And it's a hard bait. You can see the, 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 the cockroaches aren't going to eat that. They're just not going to eat it. They just leave it alone. And a lot of times they'll live in it. They'll live inside this <laughs> and breed, and they won't eat that stuff. There's a grease sources and stuff. There's plenty of, even though this is fake, there's plenty of food here. So the grease and food products, it's plenty for them to sustain themselves until the new tenants move in. Uh, they, they'll even, even eat each other. I mean, whatever. The problem will be persistent. you got to use a strong... You know, EPA, federally approved, state mandated, uh, registered uh, products that you can use indoors. And I use the strongest, most professional products I make together in a formula and a recipe that has been ordained by the Department of Environmental Protection. It is safe because all you need is one treatment. 
and you don't have to keep repeating it. And uh, but my guarantee is also limited based on how long you want to be uh, under agreement. So our standard agreement is 30 days, give you the biggest discount we could possibly give you without a contract, and then give you the option to maintain it monthly, which I do suggest, but it just depends on your preferences. But I'm going to take care of this. You know, see me in action, you're going to see me spraying. I mean, you see a guy, you see your, you see your granddad, you see, you see your uncle spraying stuff. So I'm not going to really show me in action spraying. But we don't do fogs, don't use powders. You're not going to adjust anything that's going to dry in one hour. That's in the last about 60 days, up to 90 days. And it's going to keep killing. It's going to keep killing them because they're going to run around. The stuff I spray, the stuff, the mixture I make, makes them flush out. Makes them run out. And they run across the chemical and they die much faster. And then all you got to do is clean up. But you got to do a full preparation. You got to remove everything out of the cabinets and also out of the bathroom cabinets. This place is vacant, but even though the house is fully furnished and lived in, you still got to remove everything out of the vanities, everything out of the kitchen cabinets, minimum. Other than that, if you have a pantry area or if you need more thorough treatment, maybe you brought in furniture, add cockroaches like your nightstands, bed framing, you're going to have to prepare that for me so I can treat the furniture. Other than that, I treat the uh, around the casings, all the gaps, everything's got to get treated. I sprayed in here, I sprayed behind the splash, this uh, splash board. It came running out. They're everywhere. You don't see them, but they're everywhere. They hide in the smoke detectors. When it gets out of hand, you know, they'll, they'll hide anywhere. Cockroaches versus bed bugs. Bed bugs are different, they have a different behavior pattern. Cockroaches are a lot of fun. You always see dead cockroaches behind the door jams where they get squished <laughs> when people open or close the door. You always see like the fecal matter and stuff like that. I'm not going to waste your time. Now we're going to get started on this treatment and finish it up. But thank you for watching Derek with the Women Next Island Park, New Jersey. I hope you learned something from this. Here's another spot. Bed bugs, can, I mean, bed bugs. I've been doing so many bed bug videos. Uh, cockroaches, they'll hide behind, behind this molding, behind this rubber molding. And some of the refrigerators are damaged, have, have chairs in them. And they'll get inside and lay their eggs and live inside because there's, they're protected from the cold. And they'll hide in the hinges, which I'm going to be treating. And uh, the motor housing, I like to get back here. There, I like to move out the refrigerator. So I'm going to move this refrigerator out and treat it up under the side and all that stuff. It's going to last. It's going to be a good treatment. I'm going to be happy. So have a good day. Bye-bye.